Luka Doncic finds himself on the cover of 2K22. Meanwhile, he's joined by the franchise's greatest player in a Legends cover for the ages. This is the gray area right here on Kevin Gray Sports. My name is Kevin Gray. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right there. For all things Kevin Gray Sports here on YouTube, you can catch me on your home of the Dallas Cowboys and Texas Rangers. 105.3 The Fan. As the Dallas Mavericks get ready to introduce Jason Kidd as their 10th head coach in franchise history and Nico Harrison as the head of basketball operations going forward for the Mavericks, some pretty cool news ahead with Luka Doncic being on the cover of 2K22 and also Luka Doncic having his former running mate join on a Legends cover for 2K22 and one Dirk Nowitzki. Obviously, the popularity of Luka Doncic continues to grow as one of the five best players in all of the NBA. Getting the opportunity to be on the cover of 2K22 is pretty cool for a guy at 22 years of age, a first time, a first team All NBA selection twice already within his first three seasons, a former rookie of the year, a guy who led all of the NBA in playoff scoring this year. Luka Doncic's legend continues to grow, not to mention the fact that he just led. Slovenia to the Olympics for the very first time in its country's history. A country of 2.1 million people now gets to celebrate its poster child on the poster cover of 2K22. So pretty cool for Luka Doncic as he continues to grow his superstardom across the NBA. And more importantly for Mavericks fans, another opportunity to yet see him grow and mature as he continues to be one of the faces of the entire NBA. So for Luka Doncic, Being on the cover of 2K22 is representative not just of the popularity of him growing within the NBA, but what he has felt across the world and more importantly in the gaming world about his popularity and what he continues to mean for the NBA and its superstars as they continue to be on the cover. And Dirk Nowitzki himself, of course, former NBA champion with your Dallas Mavericks is on the Legends cover alongside Kevin Durant and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Just a really cool moment for Dirk Nowitzki also. We know how close... Luka Doncic and Dirk Nowitzki are. So for them to be on the covers of 2K22 is pretty special for them going forward. This obviously gives us a backdrop for us going forward for the rest of this offseason, what this offseason could look like. There are reports from Ian Begley of SNY TV that the Dallas Mavericks could be interested in a guy in Nerlens Noel, who Mavericks fans remember when he was traded to this Mavericks team back in February of 2017. He played a total of 52 games. Didn't necessarily work out well, but for the New York Knicks, it's worked out pretty well for him, especially this past season under Tom Thibodeau's defensive system. A guy who had 4.5 blocks and 2.3 steals and 13-point rebounds per 100 possessions, and you know what he did against the Dallas Mavericks when Julius Randle went off for his career night in Dallas. Nerlens Noel had three blocks that night. So, look... Could he be a definite interest for the Mavericks when it comes to their defensive prowess and what they need to do continue to improve defensively? Sure. It will be interesting to see New Orleans Noel back in a Dallas Maverick uniform if you remember the hot dog incident way back when when he decided to go off into the stands and go buy himself a hot dog at one point. But look, New Orleans Noel has turned himself into a very good defensive player, succeeded well under Tom Thibodeau and his scheme out there. There are also reports from Sham Sharania of The Athletic, that the Mavericks will show interest in a guy in John Collins from the Atlanta Hawks, who, of course, is a restricted free agent. Collins, per 100 possessions himself, scored nearly 29 points, shot 56% from the field, shot a respectable 39.9% from the three-point line, only taking five threes per 100 possessions, but also averaging 12 rebounds and two blocks per 100 possessions. So you see the value of what a John Collins or a Nerlens Noel could potentially bring to the Dallas Mavericks. But more importantly, these are the kinds of conversations and things that you want to hear if you're a Mavericks fan. Obviously, will it be a little more difficult to get a guy in? John Collins as a restricted free agent, especially when you need secondary ball handling and a second score to really go alongside Luka Doncic. That would be a tough pill to swallow for some Mavs fans, given the needs that they have on this team relative to who may or may not be on this team going into this upcoming season. I'm talking about guys like Tim Hardaway Jr. and guys like Josh Richardson, who, yes, have a near $12 million player option, but at the same time could opt in and then find themselves getting traded by this Mavericks team. There's different ways the Mavericks could potentially spend this. If they decide to let Tim Hardaway Jr. walk, well, there's another additional cap space money that you can find yourself using to potentially sign some free agents. There's also been overtures on whether or not the Mavericks should go after a guy in Lonzo Ball who – it appears maybe having his time come to an end. 
with the New Orleans Pelicans. Rich Paul, his agent, already talking about seeing that they want to explore the landscape of what the rest of the NBA has to offer aside from the New Orleans Pelicans. So there's a couple of guys that are out there that the Mavericks could find themselves linked to, whether or not you are in the category of wanting to throw $25 million a year at Lonzo Ball, given the fact that, yes, he's an improved three-point shooter, can guard multiple positions on the perimeter. But at the same time, does he fit with what you're trying to do with the Mavericks? Yes, at 23 years of age, has a long career ahead of him and could find himself getting a lot of dollars on this free agency market. But for the Mavericks, again, these conversations are the ones that you want to see or at least reported like to see to have. Is that the Mavericks are going to be in the mix for a lot of different names. Now, whether or not they decide to execute on those things, that's a whole different conversation altogether. But make no mistake... The fact that they have one of the five best players in all of the NBA, what seems to be potentially a change in culture in front office with Nico Harrison and his deep connections and relationships to various players around the NBA. And we know how much NBA players love Jason Kidd, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and others. You could see how the Mavericks are going to find themselves a lot in these conversations. It's going to be up to Mark Cuban and who he is deciding to listen to at the particular time to make the kinds of decisions to surround Luka Doncic with this team. This is aside from the decisions that you have to make with guys like Chris Porzingis if you decide to move on from him in some kind of trade package, if you let Tim Hardaway Jr. walk, if Josh Richardson opts into his contract, what do you potentially do with him in moving him on from this franchise? Those decisions and more about not only the fit around Luka Doncic, but how you want to put yourself in position, not just for free agency this year, but going into next year also, and what that could look like to try and get yourself the best opportunity to maximize the window that you have with one Luka Doncic, who, yes, is just 22 years old. Yes, is in the very infant stages of his career, but he is ready to win now, and more importantly, he is a poster child for the growing phase and one of the growing faces of an NBA's new generation of talent. Aside guys like Zion Williamson, John Moran, and others, Luka Doncic is going to be at the forefront for years. Also, he's eligible to sign his five-year $201.5 million rookie max extension this summer. So time is of the essence to get yourself in the best spot to be able to build around Luka Doncic and to do so rather quickly. Otherwise, the Mavericks will continue to find themselves in the same position that they have found themselves in over the better part of a decade, trying to make things happen by trading for players who are on their upside, who eventually, like a New Orleans Noel at the time, where the move was really lauded at the time when you made it. Didn't necessarily work out with New Orleans Noel. But now you're in a position, you don't have the necessary assets, you're trying to find a way to make sure that you have the requisite cap space to decide what you want to do with a guy in Tim Hardaway if you decide to bring him back. And how do you fit guys that will be best served around Luka Doncic to accentuate his strengths, but more importantly, make this overall team better when you still got guys under contract like Dorian Finney-Smith, like Maxi Kleber, Dwight Powell, and others, not to mention guys like Jalen Brunson also. So you see kind of where this Mavericks team is between a rock and in a hard place but nonetheless you've got your franchise and your generational superstar and one Luka Doncic you've got a new head coach and Jason Kidd you've got a new general manager and head of basketball operations and Nico Harrison things could be on the upswing for a Mavericks franchise that is looking to do a lot of things differently including going all in on its campaign to ensure that Luka Doncic stays around even beyond his rookie max extension That is going to be up to Mark Cuban to listen to the right folks and make the kinds of basketball decisions and really just get get out of the way when it comes to Nico Harrison and Jason Kidd. Let them build a roster that is going to accentuate Luka Doncic, grow him, but more importantly, give confidence to other potential free agents that he, they would want to come and play with Luka Doncic because ultimately that's the Maverick strategy that appears going forward. Can they get the kinds of stars or requisite role players that can potentially become stars to play alongside Luka Doncic to, in order to capitalize on his future? Only time will tell if the Mavericks are able to do so. But now that we'll have an opportunity to talk with Jason Kidd and Nico Harrison and then coming up for free agency on August the 2nd, we'll see how the Mavericks are able to move 
forward from here. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right there for all things Kevin Gray Sports here on YouTube. It's been another episode of The Gray Area. We'll talk to you later. Peace.